So let's go ahead and call this episode one of the Tacoma Adventure Series build. So I'll be sleeping in this pretty unique hammock. It's the Haven XL. It's a lay flat hammock, so it does use a pad for its structure, and it also has some spreader bars in there, but otherwise it hooks up just like a regular hammock. Comes with hammock straps here and some hooks, so you basically just hook each end on there. Now you can hook the tarp directly to the shelter. It's made to do that, but generally I like to have my tarp up off my shelter a little bit. So I went ahead and just ran some bungee cords and tied it up a little bit higher. The Haven shelters do come with a bug net. It is removable and you have the zipper on each side so you could enter from either side and you can just flip this bug net up out of your way. It's got a really heavy duty ridge line and then as I mentioned, you've got poles on either end and these just tuck into these little grommets on each end and then you've got your pad for the support and sort of for the structure. It just does tuck into these little flaps here. And then it's gonna be warm tonight, so I'm just using a down blanket. And the insulation from the pad should be plenty. You can see here there is a bar on the other side, and then you've got all sorts of organization. You've got a big pocket on either end. You've got a phone pocket, and then there's more pockets here. So lots of storage on the inside. Of course, you can hang things from the ridge line. And it is lay flat, so all of you that don't like the banana type hammocks, this might be worth taking a look at. Trying out a new camp chair from Click, so I've got that set up. We've got a fire pit, a couple of walking trails here, and I'm gonna get some food on because I am starving. One of the things I already installed on the truck is this Diamondback cover. This is the Diamondback HD. 
You guys will see a lot more on the Diamondback HD. I also got this tailgate panel that replaces your corrugated panel uh, in your truck. It's got this high density foam on it so it saves your knees if you have to climb in. I am going to get a drawer system uh, for the back of the truck but right now I'm using the front runner boxes but tailgate with this cover on it makes a great place for cooking. That's where I'm going to do my cooking. On this trip there's also cup holders in both sides so really cool tailgate insert from Billy Bars. So for lunch I've got a salad and I've got some jalapeno cheddar, smoked sausage, also has some potato salad, got some stuff for the morning and gonna make a special meal later on tonight. They're looking nice. Got to get your greens. And the salad slamming. So I've camped in this forest many, many times, many different spots. And so when I was driving up here, I didn't even realize that it's Friday and it's the weekend. And in Michigan, in August, the weekends become less and less and summer becomes less and less so everything up here is completely booked i drove around to all the spots that i usually stay at now keep in mind they're all primitive spots no parking lot camping all primitive no toilets most do have a fire ring so i went to the first spot completely full went to the second spot completely full so I jumped on the uh, U.S. Forest uh, app and I found one spot that was first come first serve and that's the spot I'm in. Now the rest of the spots are all reservable and those are all taken but this one nobody was at and supposedly it's first come first serve so hopefully this is where I'm staying tonight. But I do want to check it out. I've never been on this particular part of the river before. It's the Osaba River in Michigan. I've kayak camped before to campsites that are boat in only, summer hiking only. But everybody is up here camping this weekend apparently. It's a nice spot. Especially for first come first serve. Usually those are the spots nobody wants but it's a great spot. Got a fire pit. Hung the hammock. It's going to be a great spot for the night. Let's try some of those jalapeno cheddar sausages. Ooh, hot. And they're slamming. Since I've never been to this spot before or down this road, kind of want to go take a look.
like there's another campsite there. Bunch of people camping in here. The road actually led to the river, a boat launch, and I just so happened to bring my poles. Definitely going to try some fishing tonight. So that's super cool and I did bring a couple rods. So maybe I'll just go back to camp and rig something up. Go sit by the side of the river tonight. On my way back, I was going to stop at that campsite nobody was at and grab that firewood that somebody left, but just as I got back to it, a camper was pulling in. So, lots of dead pine in here to get the fire started, but I'm going to need something to burn. Looks like there's a down tree there I could chop up. Another down tree over here. Yeah, definitely could get some of this. You guys all right? Whoa, a nice hardwood. I know it doesn't show on camera, but it's quite steep right here. All right, time to get a fire going because the bugs are coming out. Of 
course, we're going to be using some Pro Camp Tech fire starter. Well, I think I forgot to hit record, but I just used some Pro Camp Tech Ultimate Fire Tinder and then a bunch of little pine twigs and then just kept stacking on bigger and bigger. I think we got her going. So I'm real excited about the new truck and the videos I'm gonna to put together for it. As I mentioned, I've got some great sponsors on board. I've got a Diamondback cover, I've got a decked drawer system coming, full drawers that pull out. That's gonna be awesome. I don't have to use the boxes anymore. I can put all my gear in the drawers. That's gonna be awesome. I've got some racks. I'm uh, gonna get a rooftop tent. So I'm really gonna make it so I can take my truck pretty much everywhere and camp. So there's going to be a series on that, which should be awesome. I did head back down to the river to do some fishing, but there was still just way too many people on the river. Tubes, kayaks, canoes, and uh, it's not very wide on this part of the river, so I'd constantly be having to reel up my line. So I just decided to come back to camp and get a fire going. So just sitting by the fire, the smoke's knocking down the bugs a little bit. They're not too bad, but... Definitely the mosquitoes have come out. I think I'm just going to relax for a little bit and then uh, get some dinner going. All right, so for dinner, I'm gonna do some coconut curry chicken. Got some chicken thighs. Got some Brussels sprouts to go with that. And I've also got some garlic butter rice.
my chicken is nice and browned. I'm actually going to switch this into a bigger pan for the sauce. And then we're going to use this Saffron Road Coconut Curry Sauce. And basically you just simmer it with the chicken. Alright, gonna pop a top on that and slide her over. I'm gonna do my rice, some Ben's original butter garlic. Just bring that up to temp. Rice is done, I'm just going to heat my chicken back up. And it should be about done. Alright, some garlic butter rice. Some coconut curry chicken. This looks and smells amazing. The raccoons have come. They're over there. They're not getting none of this. Oh man. Oh, it's so good. It's slamming. So after dinner I cleaned up all my pots and pans and I went ahead and took my trash down the street and threw it in a trash can just because I saw the raccoons. Buttoned up the car nice and tight and I am in the hammock and ready for bed. I will see you guys in the morning.
and it's slamming. Good morning, everybody. Just finished up breakfast. Just made some quick scrambled eggs with some maple sausage. Slamming. I slept uh, pretty good last night. It was super calm. Usually at home I have like a fan on, so there was no noise at all. Other than I did hear some coyotes and I did hear a couple owls. But other than that, I got probably about five to six hours of sleep. Uninterrupted, didn't wake up. Haven tent is pretty amazing. Uh, definitely lay flat. I did adjust it some more. Um, once I was laying there for a bit, you kind of just got to dial it in, as with any system. Um, but otherwise, it was nice and flat all night. I uh, was originally going to use two pillows, but I found I only needed one. Two, two cropped me up kind of high, and it was starting to hurt my back. So went down to the one pillow, and that made a huge difference and slept really well. It was nice and warm. I think it only got down to like... 65 or something last night so I only had the blanket and uh, I kept it off me most of the time this morning covered up a little bit but uh, other than that had a great night and uh, it's definitely a great system for those that uh, you know want a hammock but they don't want to be scrunched up if you get this thing dialed in, it definitely uh, is quite comfortable. Didn't need the tarp at all. I left the tarp off, uh, off the one side. No chance of rain or anything. So I actually saw a shooting star because you've got a ton of bug net there, so you can you can really look up at the sky even even though the tarp is still on the one side. Uh, and if it did rain or anything like that, I could just jump out and quickly hook up the uh, the two corners. I got the stakes and the and the lines in the ground already, so you just hook that up real quick. But overall, it is nice. I really like it. Not sure what I'm going to do today. Um, probably get packed up and head back in a little bit. But uh, we'll see what happens. So on my way back, I stopped at Lumberman's Monument. It's a pretty cool place. I put some of the signs in the video, so if you wanted to pause and read, you could. Otherwise, it was a great overnight, and I will see you guys on the next video. Scenic Byway is a 22 mile national scenic. Sites along the byway include Eagles Run Trail, Whirlpool, a popular.